this is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denver. Has something pretty cool today. 1966 Ford F-250 Custom Cab Factory Camper Special. You can see right there, original badging and everything on it. Really cool uh, truck done in yellow and white. That's a factory color. The color would have been a little bit lighter, probably, but not much. Overall, just a really, really nice driver. Uh, the gentleman that I got it from, <clears throat> he used it for camping and fishing. He had a little tiny camper on it and had a little fishing boat and him and his wife would take it out and they ended up buying a new uh newer truck there'll be actually a picture on the uh auction pictures of of him and a picture of the the boat and a little camper on it so we'll just do a little walk around it's a 352 truck factory automatic but now it's got a four speed in it um, it was converted really early into a four speed and now it has a 67 390 in it but i purposely put 352 on the uh, air cleaner because I wanted it to look original, but it's a 390 uh, engine uh, C7 AE engine codes and stuff on the uh, On the intake manifold so it's sold as a 390. It's got a fat era. It's got a four barrel on it Edelbrock four barrel on it as well uh, aluminum intake so and it does have power steering uh, by the way, but just a really nice driving truck overall we'll uh, walk around it I'll show you the lights in a little bit and will drive in general. It's not perfect by any means, but it sure does look good. There's a few little, uh, you know, just some of the body work's not perfect on it. When you look down the sides, you'll see a little bit of waviness. Uh, you'll notice it more when it's maybe under lights or you have it in a dark garage or something like that, but out in the sun, I mean, it looks pretty good, but you can see a little bit of body waves and little tiny things. Um, but it's not uh, too bad. Everyone always gawks over it every time they see it. You'll see a little bit of the light indention here, but that is a little bit of the bodywork uh, there. So a couple little imperfections in the paint there. It's got a factory, uh, well, it had split rims on it and it has 16 inch wheels on it. These are heavy duty Ford wheels. I already had the caps and so I put caps on it. The tires are from 02. You can see the date code. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, now I can't find it. I have to find another wheel for you. But they're Wild Country uh, Radial XTXs, and they're they are truck tires LT 235-85-16. Um, but I thought the date code. I'll look on a different tire. But the tires, they're older, but the tread is really really good. So I didn't really want to take them off uh, in general. So you can see the molding is in pretty good shape couple little dings and stuff and little tiny repairs mirrors have a little scratch right there but overall not bad you know if you see me pointing at something it's because I'm pointing at you know a little little imperfection or something like that on it you can see around the wheel lip really nice it's not rusty the only spot of rust that I've seen it the floors look really good back of the cab looks good right here but on the other side way back here and behind there is a little bit of rust but you can't see it from here uh, on the other side but overall it's in good shape roof is nice you can see the the gutter usually that's a pretty typical spot where it gets rusty and this one's actually in really good condition overall you can see underneath the trim this is a deluxe tr truck with all the trim and everything on it you can see this gasket is split right here so Eventually, you probably want to put a new gasket in it as well. The other thing that's nice here is there's no bubbles on the front of the hood. That's a really typical area on these. You'll see a little chip right there that's been touched up. A little bit of crazing on the uh, emblem you can see there. But overall, uh, good shape. Little ding right there. I can't show you every little thing on the truck. One thing you'll notice that it does have a water bottle underneath here, but no squirters. And the guy that I got the truck from, he said he replaced the hood on it with actually with a white hood. So when you look underneath, it's the same color. But there should be two little holes up here for window squirters, and this hood did not have them. Uh, and the motor for the uh, windshield wiper worker isn't working either. So um, you'll see a little chip right there. 
So let's walk around here to the back. Back behind here, there's not rust. Little dent, little tiny ding, a couple little imperfections in the paint. But overall, you know, the top is real nice here. You'll see pictures with the mat out of it. It's hauled a few things on the wheel wells, but actually the floors, you know, back here are really nice overall so if you really wanted to get this perfect in here you'd paint it obviously but you could knock out some of the dents in the wheel wheels there but the floors are the trunk bed is yeah see if i can do it with one hand there we go is actually really in good shape in general and again you're going to see pictures and and everything of the of the bed so tailgate is nice overall looks great it needs a new lens You'll see a little hole right there. Those are easy to get. A couple little scrapes in general. Uh, but a couple little little chips that have been touched up. I've got a lot of receipts and stuff from the what the guy did on the truck. Now over here you can see, now it's kind of shaded on this side. You might be able to see a little bit of the waviness on the bed. Again, it's not horrible. It's just, you know, when it's not out in the sun, you can kind of see a little bit more on it. You'll notice this is raised up. A little bit this needs to be pulled back down probably when they did the muffler I don't know or something it got pushed up a little bit or they didn't even notice it when they did the bodywork so but it's uh, it's not cut off or anything like that you can see underneath here it just got pushed up just a little bit around this wheel lip is really nice as well a couple little dings a couple little damages on the on the chrome as you'll notice now this here, the camper special came with the toolbox. Now this has two tanks back here that are not hooked up. And so they didn't want the toolbox, so they put a tank on this side, but the guy cut a hole in here so he could put stuff in there still. So if you wanted to get a new insert here, you could take that tank, that tank out. Um, I gotta push that back in there, there we go. You can see a little chip couple little chips there and again I could have touched those up but I didn't do it right here bought back of the cab is really nice but if you look way in there you'll see actually you can't even see it from here but there's a little rust uh, back there when I have it up on my lift you'll see no rust in the bottom of the doors fenders all look really good little crazing you can see here on the uh, on the uh, what's it called door handle same thing here as well a little bird got me out here perfect right before the video so and I just noticed it so look around the wheel lips everything looks really good and you can see the door jams and everything everything lines up uh, pretty nice uh, in general again up here is in good shape as well you can see right here this is on both sides they put a little bit of um, oh I don't know a little caulking or something like that that's a little tab it looks worse than it is but it's a little tab that comes through and keeps this piece on and they put a little old caulking on there so that needs to be scraped off and uh, reapplied but overall looks great sliding rear window that's not factory on this truck but hopefully that gives you just kind of a general Windshield looks good. I was out driving it earlier, so you can see a couple little bug splatters on it. But overall, nice, nice truck. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the interior first I want to show you door shuts real nice gaps are nice interiors in pretty nice shape honestly uh, I don't have any complaints here <clears throat> seat cover was replaced and there's no rips or anything like that just a nice old seat cover it's got a factory mat in it you'll see a couple little rips so you could probably get a new one of those 
sound deadener has been put underneath. You can see this little sound deadener there. I didn't put that on there, but the gentleman before me did. You can see original gas tank. This is all the original color in here. Dash pad looks nice. It's got one little crack right there. It's got a pretty cool radio in it as well. Um, this is uh, a modern radio that looks old. So that's pretty cool. You can see it's a retro sound. And it's kind of cool, it changes colors. You can see it went from green. So it's kind of cool to have that. And then also, you put in the factory places, oil pressure gauge, temp gauge, fuel gauge. These aren't factory here, but he lined them all up and that looks nice as well. You can see the alt light works. Um, the choke works, heater works, everything works in the truck, except I can't remember, yeah, yeah, the horn works. And you can see a couple little cracks in the steering wheel, which is common. And this was an automatic truck, like I was saying, uh, so the shifter is off it uh, here. But overall, looks great. You can see the headliner, the cardboard original. They had to put a few more screws and a little piece of wood up there, because it was probably getting pretty warped up. You can see the dome light works there as well. So door jams weren't painted, you can see that, but kind of nice because it is original paint and you can see there's no body damage or anything on this truck. Doors aren't all rusted, this is an option. You can get factory door inserts, they're like $100, so I would probably get those if you wanted to uh, next and they've got little, uh, oh, I don't know, they're kind of pleated looking, so that'd be a nice add to the truck. Nice window felts, actually, he probably replaced those. Door rubber is old, but it looks looks good. You know, the nice thing about this truck is you can kind of do all the fun stuff. Original tag, you can do all the fun stuff to it in general. So we'll take a look at the other side real quick. So here we're on the passenger side. Just wanted to show you a couple other things glove box this is the uh, for the radio um, you'll notice here this little tag this is another little tag this is a warranty tag actually there would have been a in the uh, the original uh, owner's manual there would have been a warranty card and that would have been glued to it but someone glued it here it doesn't have to go there you could probably find an original owner's manual if you want and take that off and glue it on there but they just put it on there again the door jams here in really good shape I actually think the interior looks better than in real life than in my photos to be honest with you so it's actually pretty clean in here so spend some time taking a look at the interior in general and it's not all monkeyed up underneath the dash all the wiring and stuff is pretty clean uh, in general here's a little side vent you can see and there's those speakers that they put on each side but overall really a nice Nice, nice old truck. So hopefully that gives you a good idea. Windows roll up nice uh, too, but uh, and you, you can see it's got seat belts as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Hey, I want to go ahead and uh, start it up here for you, but at first I wanted to show you the emergency brake where you can see it's moving, So, and I had it in neutral. But one of the things I wanted to show you real fast, it's already hot right now, it's already warm, but I wanted to show you the choke. So if you pull the choke, it'll pull out halfway. If you push the gas pedal down here, then you can pull it all the way out. So if it was cold, that's what you want to do. Obviously, you don't want to do that uh, uh, now because it's... Um, it's already warm, so it won't start. It is in neutral, so you can also see the gauges. I'll go ahead and fire it up real fast for you. You can see the tack works, oil pressure, temperatures, already reading, gas gauge. That little toggle switch right here turns that gas gauge off. I don't know why, but we've always just left it on. You can see the uh, amp gauge.
gauge is working. So everything's uh, in good shape here in general. I'll show you some more stuff while we're, we're driving it around, the heater and, and all that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop the hood. I'll have someone help me uh, real fast. Um, <clears throat> let's walk around here. There's actually two little levers you're gonna pull on this one here and then you push back on that one. So underneath the hood is a uh, 390. It's a 67 390. It's got 67 part numbers on the heads, but I was told it was a 390. And this guy's pretty truthful, but we still put a 352 sticker on it. Originally it had a 352 in it in uh, general. Edelbrock intake manifold. We put a, we took it off, new gasket new uh, uh, valve cover gaskets, water pump. It's got uh, headman headers, and it's got a new gasket there. The engine was rebuilt uh, prior to the gentleman getting it in the, in the later 2000s. So we just did a lot of detail work to it in general. Power steering, you can see it's got power brakes. I don't think it came originally with power brakes. We redid all the, the brakes on it, new cylinders and everything, new master. So nothing's leaking or anything like that. It's got drums all the way around. Flushed out the system. Uh, changed the gear oil, rear end oil. It's got a 373 in it. Originally it had a 410. And he put a 69 uh, rear end in it with 373 gears, which was a little nicer. It did have a new radi radiator put in it uh, before I got it. And we flushed the system there. So overall, Everything's pretty nice underneath the hood. You might want to do a little bit more detailing work. That's all original back there. You can even see some little chalk marks right there. You can see the heaters all hooked up. So it hasn't been bypassed or anything like that. So go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, it sounds nice. You'll see it's not all shaking or anything like that. A little dampness here on the steering box. The steering box is also off of a uh, 69 as well. Nothing's really leaking or anything like that, but that's something you probably want to keep your eye on it because it, it's been a little a little bit damp. So, but overall, nice old truck in general. If you remember I was talking about he replaced the hood that was a white hood when he had it. So, anyways, new tune-up, everything, come in and drive it. When you shut the hood too, you'll, you'll want to push that back and then shut the hood. There you go. So we'll go out for a little ride. Hey, thanks for driving around with us in the uh, Ford You'll see here we started in second. You know, first gear in these trucks is usually a granny gear. And so you want to start off in second usually. There we are in second. So, but if you really want to pull some stumps out of the ground, put her in first. Actually a nice uh, driving truck overall. You can see the speedometer's working blinkers are working. You can see the little green isn't working in there as the little lens came out. You can see the bright lights. Um, that works inside the dash there uh, too. But you can see all the tack, everything's working in general. Why don't you turn the wipers on too. The uh, wipers are working as well. But you got to stop them kind of where they're at there. So overall just a nice driving truck. One thing is when you're when you're driving it, it does have a wanders a little bit. You'll get used to it, but I think the steering box is a little bit worn, but after you get used to it, it's just like driving some old truck. Go ahead and lay on the brakes. No wheel shake. You can see that. It actually stops pretty nice and straight. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, cruise it around a little bit more and enjoy our uh, country out here in Oregon. It's been really nice. So this is out by my house. So I get to look at this every day. So we'll just cruise around and see you later.
and pick up strangers. Hey, we're gonna take a look at the Ford on the lift. Here's a couple cars that are getting ready for bring a trailer. The uh, Scout is actually on there, but got an Espada 510 wagon, my Land Rover, a couple other things we're getting ready here. Sorry, the shop's messy, but we actually work in it. So here is the uh, camper special up on the, the lift. I like to put stuff on the lift, not just to take photos, which you're going to see, but I like to be able to point at different things and show you different things in a video. I've been doing that for quite a while now on Bring a Trailer, and I think it makes a little bit of difference. So we're just going to walk around to the front, uh, to the back. It's actually really solid underneath. Um, and you can get a good idea, too, of, you know, the paint is pretty shiny on this, uh, this truck in general. Bumper's in good shape. Um, you can see right here, someone put a, uh, a hook in here to hook down to a trailer and stuff like that. So it just got a little out around uh, there. No problem with that or anything like that. It's just what they did. Um, <clears throat> you can see here the new cylinders on the brakes. Um, we did front and back. It's got Monroe-matic shocks on it, which we put on it. We didn't change the brake lines. They actually look pretty good uh, in general. It's got new brake shoes and, and everything. The tires... Again, we're put on an 03, uh, but these are from 02. Um, I think I, yeah, right there, you can see that date 5002. When you see four digits, 02 is for 2002. Um, <clears throat> if you look up inside the wheel wells, looks good. Battery tray, everything looks good there. You can see a little tiny rust right there. Nothing real big. Um, you can see the body mount looks good. If you look underneath the cowl area, really, really nice. You can see that body mount there is good. And when I'm talking about body mount, I'm showing you here that it's not all rusty. You can see a little, few little cracks uh, in the rubber bushing, but really not a big deal. Um, you can see these bushings look good. Uh, overall, pretty clean underneath here in general. When you see dates, when I put dates on stuff, 620, 620, it just means when we changed oil and stuff like that. You'll see it on the rear end and you'll see it on the um, transmission. It's just good to be able to see that. So later on, when was that change? Can't remember. You know, so um, then you have a date on it. And then also we'll hit all the Zurich fittings uh, and stuff. Go ahead and look at the behind the headlight area there. You know, I haven't seen any accident damage on this truck. You can see up here in the cowl area. Really, really good shape overall. Floor pans look great. Rockers, really nice back of the cab. Rockers look really, really nice on this truck. Look at the floors. Look inside the rocker here. Very clean. Take a look at the other side real fast. I wiped off the floor, there was some oil residue. A long time ago, I guess the transmission had a leak back there on the back of the seal, and so it was just kind of slinging it up there. But I went ahead and cleaned off here. You can see there, it's not leaking anymore. But it was just old residue. You can see here. Right there is a little bit of rust on the back of the cab, on that inner panel. The other side has a little bit too, you can see there. It's put, covered up by this gas tank. But see the back of the corner looks good. You could fix that or not fix it. I'd probably just leave it uh, for now because it's not really affecting anything. You can see the floors look nice. Center section there looks good. All the U joints look good. In general, everything fits tight. Previous owner put uh, glass packs on it. Actually, sounds good. You know, not the fanciest of welding job, but it works. These two gas tanks are disconnected, you can see that. So you could probably clean them out and redo them. There's a solenoid right up there, fuel filter. This is uh, for the, the tank behind the seat. Um, <clears throat> Camper Specials had this tool compartment there. Um, this gas tank actually has a hole cut out uh, in it that'll show you. And he was uh, putting stuff in there, so it's actually this is actually pretty dysfunctional. 
but it's acting as the tool uh, section. So if you wanted to put an original one back in, uh, you could just take that gas tank out and uh, put the, the unit that goes in there. But right now it works as he would put his chains in there and he put his, uh, he could put his uh, jumper cables, oil, and different things like that. Just want to take a look here. New shocks. This rear end is from a uh, 1969, but it's got a 68 part number, 373. Truck originally had a, a 410 in it, but you can see the part number C8TA. Just for a little knowledge for you, C is for 1960, 8 is for 68, but 69s use the same rear end, so, but it did come out of a 69 uh, Ford truck. So a little better on gas mileage uh, instead of using a 410 in it. Um, you can see the new cylinder here. You'll see some residue just from bleeding brakes and stuff like that. But you can see that new cylinder. But again, look inside the, the bed. Everything looks good in general. You know, you can see here, you can see this is raised. This just needs to be pulled down a little bit. You can see it's just bent up just a tiny bit. So anyways, hopefully that gives you a good look underneath. I don't think there's really anything else uh, to show underneath of it, but uh, great old truck. One, one thing I guess I could mention is the tire wear, very even. You can see the, ti the tires have been on the truck for quite a while, so very even tri tire well wear on it. So uh, anyways, if you got questions, uh, give us a jingle. You can uh, call, email, check us out on Instagram, uh, ask questions there if you want on a message, um, but it is no reserve. Top bid is gonna get it. Thank you, bring a trailer again for great auctions. And I think this is like, I don't know, 227 for Denwork. So anyways, pretty excited. No reserve, have fun.